Hello everybody. You remember the words that Jesus um, said to his disciples, come, come ye apart, he said, come ye apart and rest a while. It's important that we spend time apart, away from just the normal routine, just to spend time reflecting and being quietly in the presence of God. Um, this is one of the places where I come apart and enjoy reflecting on the Lord Jesus. Um, you remember Mary when Gabriel came to her and told her that she was going to be with child through the Holy Spirit? Um, she says, here I am. And then she goes off to the hill country of Judea to spend time with her cousin Elizabeth. Now Elizabeth is also pregnant and uh, who is forming in Elizabeth's womb? Well, we know that was the great to be John the Baptist. Um, Elizabeth and her husband Zechariah were past the childbearing age, but the Holy Spirit did something amazing not unlike uh, uh, the Lord did something amazing in Abraham and Sarah's life. When Sarah was past childbearing uh, season. Um, and then when Elizabeth, or rather Mary, walks into the room where Elizabeth is and greets her, we read that the baby leaped for joy. And I, I just enjoy that, that the baby leaped for joy. Um, you know, we, th we think that a child is, a little one is, is, is doing its own little thing, uh, being formed, and nine months later this little one sees the light of day. But, but there's a level of awareness. Now, I don't understand what the level of awareness is, but it's clear that the Spirit of God works in that little baby, John, and he recognizes who Mary is, or particularly who Mary is going to bring forth the baby Jesus in due course. So I say, as I think about that, don't underestimate what the Holy Spirit can do. We think that the Holy Spirit has always got to work through our rational mind, that it's, it's always got to be a conscious thing that we do when we respond. And we forget that the Holy Spirit does what the Holy Spirit wants to do. And that the Spirit of God can circumvent our, can circumvent our rational process and can go straight into the soul. And that's what the Spirit of God did with John in his mother's womb. Just bringing an awareness as to who had just walked into his mummy's house and he responded. He leapt for joy. Believe me, nothing is impossible for God. He is a God of surprises, doing things that we barely imagined that the Spirit could do. Don't limit God. And trust God to be working even now. If you are a granny, or even if you're a mom watching this and you're pregnant. I have a, 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 a granddaughter in the making, in, in my daughter-in-law's womb. And I pray, believing that the Spirit of God can do something really, really extraordinary in that young infant's life. A thought for the day. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.